we're actually very happy at this projection. Um, there's uh, something else going on in the background of this, which is that it wasn't the parkour community that were trying to get parkour into the Olympics in this cycle. It was actually the International Gymnastics Federation. And we passionately believe that the people that are best placed to uh, help direct parkour's future are the international parkour community. So if it's something that happens further down the road, that's something that only should be decided in concert with and with the consent of the parkour community. Great, but there's only you know, four years between now and the Olympics if everything goes to plan. That would have given you a lot of time to work out your differences with the International Gymnastic Board, surely? Well, so the differences are not just pragmatic. It's actually a much deeper um, question of autonomy and people actually having the ability to control the destiny of the things that they have put time and work and effort into. And the parkour is still a relatively young sport. It's about 30 years old. Uh, but throughout that time, there's been a passionate, vibrant and very disparate community um, full of both the people that you will see on YouTube, but also older people, people from all different backgrounds. And I think that what's important is that they are the ones that can control the destiny. And any time you come up against um, you know, these big international bureaucratic federations um, that are trying to uh, trying to take something under their wing. It's very rare that they're doing it with the best intentions of the sport at heart. And even if they are, there's still so many obstacles in terms of their needs and the needs of the international parkour community. Okay, well, granted, the Olympics is, for some, the, the big uh, glo you know, global sporting commercial, but at the same time, it would have given you know, so many people who practice parkour an international platform on which to show off their skills. That, I mean, that's certainly uh, the, the case that some people would be exposed by that, but I think there's a question between um, rushing to do something and taking your time to do it right. And if that showcase is to come, I think it will be a much better showcase for those athletes if it's something that's organically grown from within the parkour community. 